Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. My name's Charlie and today I'm gonna be playing some more Happy Home Paradise DLC. We're gonna design some houses. We're gonna make some people very unhappy, but maybe we might make others happy, you know? Are you looking for some work? Yes, I'm ready to work. I'm ready to go. I'm also really not dressed for tropical. Oh my god, I forgot that was my uniform. Oh god, okay. Good luck out there. Thanks. I'm really gonna need it. Let's see. Let's see. Appliance. That's such a horrible theme. Lifeguard. Oh my god. I loved your work in Happy Feet. That looks just like the Happy Feet penguin. Ooh. I like that wolf. I think I'm gonna choose the Happy Feet guy. Hopper. I gotta tell you something. This resort sure is something. I can't read. Now I gotta ask her, who are you again? Shut up. What if I just ignore his request and just make him like the set of happy feet just so he feels at home? Here's what I was thinking. Okay, okay. A lifeguard's lodgings. That could not be further from what my vision was for your vacation home. Oh, that's very nice. That is very nice. I do like that concept. I'm going to ignore it, but I love the vision. All right, let's see. What of these looks more like happy feet? I guess the iceberg, because the penguin's like, that doesn't make any sense if you haven't seen Happy Feet. That probably doesn't even make sense if you've seen Happy Feet. It's like the beginning of the movie where they're all in a huddle and they're on an iceberg and then they're all like mating and then she falls in love with the penguin because he's like, ah! Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> all right, let's build you a vacation home. He's not even clapping. That was fake. Oh yeah, this is the perfect lifeguard location. You'll never have to save anybody. So this is where I'm gonna be vacationing. What a location. I know. Oh my god. Rescue mannequin? It's literally a dead body. Oh, I'm gonna put so many of those in here. How do I make this happy feel? Like, here's the thing is it provides me with only like lifeguard things. Maybe I can just ignore it. Are there other items? Oh yeah, everything. Actually, to be fair, the set of happy feet was just an empty iceberg. So maybe I just leave this one body. Maybe I should follow his theme. I don't know. Why is this here though? It's just like sitting on the ground. I don't, I can't take my job seriously. We'll use some of these palm tree lamps. We'll try and reverse what we've done a little bit. A sand castle, which fits perfectly on our ice land. I feel like there's a, no, you can customize stuff? Hold up, what? Oh. Ooh, white sand. Can I customize the dead body? Oh my god, I can. This is too much power. I'll just leave it as it is. Okay, I just kind of like blacked out for a minute there, but here's what we have so far. I'm gonna put some sand castles. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'll put the sand castles here, and then maybe we can put the first aid kit over here. These palm trees are for lighting, but they're also really pretty, I think. I like how they're blue. Okay, now let's customize the house. In my head, the explanation for this decor choice is that in Happy Feet, it's like an alternate version of Happy Feet where the penguins have taken over and just completely eradicated humanity. This is the aftermath of Happy Feet. If I were the director, if I had things my way. Okay, I think the outside looks really good. Yeah, let's go to the inside. I'm gonna look up Happy Feet. Is it Boogie Wonderland? Is that what they sang where he goes, ah? Oh, yeah, he does it. He does it right there. Well. He goes, well, what am I talking about? I need to be decorating. I need to be decorating. I need to be decorating. I just wanted to prove that that was a real thing and not something I made up. Or alternatively, he could just be alerting all the penguins that there's actually a whale and they should all run away. And they're like, wow, he's so good at singing, but he's just like, whale. I don't know what I'm talking about. We can make the inside what he wants. Maybe if there's like, oh yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, this is actually so perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we'll put this and then we'll have this as like a towel. And then this man, oh my God, he's choking and dying. Hopper, help him. I'll also have some music playing. There, now you have a place, a, a safe haven, a happy, happy place where you can uh, save people. And then out here is the reminder of what the penguins have done to society and humanity. I would like to see his reaction to this scene because the inside is pretty standard, but I honestly think we're done here. Get a look at this thing. Yeah, let's, let's freaking do it. Let's go. No. Hey, Charlie, hold up a sec. What? What's wrong? Sorry, just need a moment for a quick supervisor to design our consultant. Is he about to tell me I did a bad job? This has never happened before. 
So you remember how to make furniture sparkle, right? Well, when I told Wardle that I told you about it, he told me a cool thing, then told me to tell you. So when you're getting ready to polish, you can make different effects besides sparkling. Oh, okay, I thought I was in trouble. Okay, I'll polish some of these bodies. Oh, you can only do it in the house? There we go. That's my reaction to that. Guess I'll go polish the body in the house. Okay, polish time, baby! Butterflies, flutter flap. Flutter flap, flutter flap, flutter flap. <laughs> wake up, wake up, idiot. Is he flutter flapping? Oh, there are the butterflies. I kind of love it. Let's see, anything else? Um, I have no idea. No, I think that's pretty good. All right, perfect, perfect. How's that vacation coming along? It is ready. Can't wait to take a look around the place. Then let's do it. Ah, a lifeguard's lodgings. The dream of every lifeguard. Are you seriously eating? Oh. <laughs> He's like, well, too late to save him. You tried, Hopper. The absolute look of shock on his face. He's like, oh my god. Ain't that something? Yep. Why not sit a spell and cool your heels? Um, no, I'm gonna take photos and I'm gonna dash. This place is unsettling for me. I don't like it. All right. I- oh, I forgot I got a raise. I can't believe I just made $12,000 for that atrocity. Great news, Charlie. We just got permission to start work on our next facility. Actually, it's even better. We're set to build out two facilities? Oh my god, what do you prefer between a restaurant and a cafe? A beachfront cafe, a beautiful- I, I kind of want to do a restaurant. I feel like a cafe constricts me creatively. Here we are. Can you imagine a cute restaurant in this spot? It's a great location for foot traffic. Okay, I don't have inspiration for what kind of restaurant I'm making yet. How can I possibly decorate the outside? This is kind of cute. It's just, uh... Yeah, that's fine. It's a very standard restaurant. It's unassuming. Okay, focus in. We gotta make this restaurant banger. The dining hall and the kitchen. Each one has its own requirement. Oh, this is a lot of work, Lottie. I'm not gonna lie to you. First of all... You can now make changes to the color intensity of the lighting. Oh my god, it's a Shrek-themed restaurant, everybody. They should not have given me this power. We're gonna make it very, very large. Ooh. Oh, I'm looking at all these items and thinking like, wow, I really could make a nice restaurant. But then I'm, I'm a little bit committed. The Shrek colored lighting just kind of sent me there. Deer scare? What on earth does that mean? I'm so confused. Wall-mounted neon lamps. Can I customize the color? Oh, say it ain't so. This is such a task. Okay. Put one more green lamp and then we'll be finished with this wall. Okay. Love that. Okay. So for the walling, I want something swampy. Yes. It could not be better. Is there mud? Is there a mud floor? Dirt. Oh my god. It looks so good. Okay. Let's add some tables now. Okay, tables. Ooh, decayed tree. Just what you would want in a sh swamp. In a Shrek swamp. You know, I'm gonna just use this diner thing. I, I don't think- it, with the lighting, nobody's gonna notice the difference between aquamarine and green, you know? Um, uh, maybe. So this is like the little cash register area. Let me just plop the register there. And I'm going to have- I'm gonna have the person at the register be a dead fish. Just creative choice, don't worry about it. This table, we'll put risotto, the cashier, and then a little Shrek green drink. Okay, that's our one table. I don't know why this light makes the food on the table look so ominous, but it just, it just fits. And then one over there, yes. Okay, perfect. I wanted to get like a pond to put here so it was believably like a swamp, but I can't find the pond. Well, I think the closest thing we're gonna get is this cypress bathtub. That'll have to do. Oh my god, wait, it looks like mud! It looks like what Shrek and Fiona have their honeymoon in. I don't- you know what I mean? Where they're like farting and catching fireflies or whatever? I don't know. It reminds me of that scene. That actually worked out way better than I thought it would. Now we need to put stuff around it though, to like set the mood. Oh, glowing moss. Wait, that's actually such a good idea. We should have glowing moss throughout the whole place. Oh my goodness. I think this is good for our dining area. I'm actually happy with this. It's obviously Shrek themed and I think it fits really well. Now to the kitchen. Okay, I like the idea of the kitchen just being sort of normal when like outside is Shrek land. 
So I might not do anything too crazy in here if I could just, I don't know. I feel as if kitchens are pretty standard. I'm not sure if there's anything fancy to be done. I am gonna put a bunch of baskets of fish in here though, just, just cuz. Wait, I kind of like this. I want to make it look like the fairy godmother's potion room now. I kind of love that idea. Maybe I just won't change anything else in the kitchen, but I'll make it have that look of the walls. I really like that. I think this is good. I don't know why the floor has like confetti on it. It's like party flooring. I really, I really don't know why. But this is the main event. This is the one. How are things going? I honestly think I'm finished. Let's decide who will be working. Oh, I forgot I had that power. <gasps> oh my god, so many people work here. Okay, the chef. We're gonna make the chef- Oh, you stupid little alligator. You have made a grave error. I'm gonna put you on cashier because it's the most miserable place you could possibly be. No, don't make that face. And I'm gonna change your outfit too. Where is it? I know it's here. A few inches later. This is horrible. There was like a hazmat suit for decorating, but I can't put it on boots. I hate this. And all his hats go on the back of his head. It's annoying. Okay, this is the best worst I can do is the bib. I- okay, whatever. I don't care anymore. Let's see, who's the chef of this fine establishment? Who do I trust enough? Oh, Beardo, 100%. Oh, cutie. And we- everything has to be green, guys. Did you not get the memo that you work at Shrek's- I can't think of a word that starts with S. Hello, hello brain. Do you copy Shrek's succulent swamp? Okay, beautiful. Apprentice? There. Okay, and then who should be the employee? Maybe who belongs in a swamp? I don't know. Puddles! Wait, Puddles! Because she's a frog! Oh, she's so aggressively not green though. Okay, that's fine. I think that's our staff. Before we do this, we need to give our new restaurant a name! If you have any ideas, I want to hear them. Okay, here's the thing. I just thought of one. It is... Rex? Succulent? Sandwiches? I don't know. What is succulent about Shrek? We'll just go with Swamp. Shrek Succulent Swamp. I like it. You definitely want to name it Shrek Succulent Swamp? Yes, 100%. Oh boy, I'm scared. Let's go though. Who is that? Hello! Oh my god. These two do not belong in this restaurant, I tell you. Wow. Everything is, is, is so bustling. Oh! They're cooking so hard. I love them. Oh my gosh, Hopper has no idea what he's doing, but that's okay. We love him anyway. Wow. No words describe. This place really turned out fantastic. I can't wait to see how well it photographs. Speaking of which, once you're done, tell me if you want a celebratory photograph. Okay, oh my god, please, Puddles. I don't even know how to take a photo in this place. Maybe, like, here? Of the diners? The happy diner? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, do that again, do it again! Yes! That was the best photo that ever could have happened. Oh, the lighting. Oh my gosh. We're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of Shrek's succulent swamp. Yay! With our own restaurant, this little island feels bigger than ever. All right, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating Shrek's succulent swamp. Charlie, a few words. I'm so happy. Nope, just, just me. Nobody else wants to join. Nobody else is excited about this. It's just, okay. Last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. Okay, I guess we'll go with this. Cute! I think it came out lovely, but what do you think of this photo? It's- it's great! Wow... Our little eatery is bustling and it's only the first day. It sure helps that everything on the menu sounds amazing. Seriously had a hard time keeping my tummy from grumbling while we were taking the photo. I know how hard you worked on this and I'm hoping this feels like a generous reward, Charlie. So without further ado, please accept your 25,000 hokey. Don't mind if I do. Now that we're done with the restaurant, we can build a cafe at any time. I'm hoping we can collaborate again, but there's no rush. Just let me know when you're ready to get started. All right, let's do one final build. I feel like the facilities take a lot of my energy and mental power, so I'm gonna just do one more villager vacation home and then we'll call it good. I could stare out at a peaceful Japanese garden all day. I like the sound of that theme. Let's let's do that. Refined Japanese garden. Oh, there's a deer, deer scare. I love those, that's my favorite. All right, where are we gonna put this, this puppy? I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this is where I'll be vacationing. It's like a dream come true. 
I'll leave you to it. All right, let's go. Deer scare. Ooh, hold the phone. I like that. I hate this noise that the deer scare makes, but I love that it's called a deer scare, so I'll put up with it. Okay, we have that. I'm gonna use some of the these zen fences. I think maybe that'll add some some depth. I don't know I said it like that. Depth. <laughs> oh god. Maybe that looks good. I think that's nice. Wait, you can change the bridge? Oh my gosh, how did I not know this? Zen Ridge, 100%. Oh, that looks so much better. Azumaya Gazebo. Ooh, <gasps> pine tree. Oh, that looks so good. How do I get that in my on my island? I love that. For the house, I'm just gonna go with something very simple. I think this looks kind of nice. It fits in okay. There isn't a lot of space on this island. I don't know. I didn't choose very well. All right, we'll put some lanterns outside the house, just out front. Oh, we definitely need bamboo. Oh my gosh, that will definitely help out. But then we have like no space. There isn't a lot of room on this island, but the bamboo I feel like is essential. Maybe a bonsai shelf over here. That's kind of cute. Okay, we'll put like a little cup of tea here. I think that's kind of cute. And then I don't know if there's any like food that would fit. Just a meal, just a just a Japanese style meal. I know there's like nothing up here, but I don't really know what to put there. Like there isn't enough space to do any sort of actual garden thing. Can I put this gazebo? Ah, there we go, there we go. That's kind of the best I can do, I feel. I don't really know. Let's change the outfit. What would fit in? Maybe just like a kimono? Like that kind of fits. I guess just the kimono is good. I like the kimono. This is probably the best that the outside can be, but for the inside, let's see what we can do. We can just have like a normal tatami sort of flooring. I'm just gonna put these scrolls here just for fun. That looks kind of nice. We can have a little bamboo mat. Maybe we can have a loom here and then a little bit of a table here and then some more bonsais, of course. And then I guess just some more tea and some buns. I don't know. I think that looks very quaint. It like fits, sort of. It's what I imagine somebody that like tends to a Japanese garden would have as a home. You know, something like small, humble, very quaint and comfortable. But yeah, this, this looks pretty good. How's it coming along? I think it's ready. I think we're ready to go. Let's check it out. Let's see what Gladys thinks. Wow. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da oh, stretching. That's lovely. I like that actually. That's a cute picture. Hello. She's not like doing much. I wanted her to sit at the table over there. Yes, right there. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, you're fantastic. Like I provided so many options and she just stood doing nothing in like three different places <laughs> the whole time, but that's okay. Thank you so much. I'd never be able to make my room this nice if I did it myself. Feel free to hang out and relax. Thank you, Gladys. I'm gonna go though. Wow, that was something else. All right, welcome back. I've been waiting for you. Before I forget, here's 12,000 Pokey. Thank you so much. With that settled, now I can share the good news. Paradise Planning is teaming up with the one and only Happy Home Academy. Yeah, in how? Oh, I'm sure you've heard of the Happy Home Academy. I get a B every month, Lottie. I don't think about the Happy Home Academy. The Happy Home Academy is offering a service to share design portfolios. You can use the internet to go on tours of vacation homes or facilities others have designed. Oh, I don't want to. Thanks, though. All right, let's call it a day. I I'm finished. I'm tired. All my creative juices are gone. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. We made some banger houses today. I was not totally in it mentally, but, you know, creatively, I was. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm really excited to make some more of these, and I appreciate you being here with me for the journey. I will see you guys next time. Bye!